Welcome to the Beyond Ordinary Women podcast. Every two weeks, we post podcast versions of one of our free training videos, or you can access our videos now at beyondordinarywomen.org. Enjoy the podcast. Hi, I'm Kay Daigle of Beyond Ordinary Women Ministries. I'm excited to welcome you today to this video series on finding a mentor. Our special guest today is Joy Baker, and Joy is the Women's Advisor and Adjunct Professor in the Educational Ministries and Leadership Department at Dallas Seminary. And I've known Joy for a long time. She and I were at Dallas Seminary at the same time, and I was blessed to get to know her there. And then we were in the same church for many years as well. So welcome, Joy. We're so thankful you could join us. Oh, it's so great to be with you, Kay. Thank you for inviting me. Well, it's our pleasure. In this first video, we're going to talk about identifying your goals. And I thought I'd just start by talking a little bit about myself, because in my day, mentoring really wasn't so much a thing. I really never heard about it. I never was encouraged to find a mentor. I really knew nothing about that. So I basically learned the hard way, which is through experience with lots and lots of mistakes and lots of things that could have been done differently if I'd had anyone to say that really won't work, Kay, I've tried it, this is the problem. If there had been somebody like that, it would have been great. So I I really have no experience in finding a mentor. I feel like I had many mentors because I learned from women in ministry, but they weren't necessarily one-on-one situations. I didn't necessarily ask them a lot of questions. I just learned from either what they were doing or what they were saying. Uh And, um, and I was so blessed to have them in my life, but it would have been wonderful to have somebody that I could ask specific questions to and talk to. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your experiences, Joy, with mentoring just generally? Hmm. Well, I'm a little bit like you in a way. The whole concept was not familiar to me growing up and in my early years. Um, I kind of do remember, though, the first time I kind of sought out a woman. I was a young mother with young children, and I went to a women's retreat a couple of times, and I observed this woman who was about 10 years older than me, and she had five children, and she seemed to be you know, managing it fairly well. And so I just remember at one point just just talking to her and saying, can I take you to lunch? I just like to pick your brain it was kind of was how it all started. And then from there, she lived in another town about 30 miles from me. And we met about once a month. And, you know, I just was able to get some help and some encouragement <laughs> as I was trying to learn what it looked like to be a, a good, loving mother. So that, and then, of course, I've had older women in my life, but they weren't very structured either. They were more, I was around them, I worked beside them, I learned from them, I would ask questions now and then, but not that it was a very defined, you are my mentor, I'm your mentee, and we're going to meet these times, so to speak. Right. But sometimes it can be more casual like mm-hmm. that, and yeah. and really the person is mentoring you, whether you've actually talked about it or not well in this first video we're talking about identify your goals is really the starting point if you're looking for a mentor and really today we're talking to women who are younger about finding a mentor who's older or women who are less experienced in something who want to find a mentor to help them maybe with some skills Mm -hmm. or mentor just to do a lot of encouraging to them as you said that's what that woman often did for you and sometimes that's what somebody needs more than actual suggestions or skills so why is it important to begin with identifying your goals well I think it's important for a younger woman or a seeking woman if you want to say that or less experience to kind of identify you know what is her need and this can be different at different times in her life and I think it's important for younger women to recognize she's not going to be looking for a woman that's just necessarily going to be her mentor for the rest of her life we normally in life will have multiple mentors 
at different seasons in our lives. And so that younger woman kind of needs to determine, okay, what is the season I'm in and what are the needs? You know, am I a single woman who needs to talk to another single woman to get some encouragement and help? Am I a young mom? Am I newly married? Or maybe I have teenage kids, or maybe I'm an empty nester. And so to be able to identify what her needs are so that then she can begin to pray and seek the Lord, a, a woman who's a, farther along in that process and has maybe has some wisdom and guidance that she could share with that younger gal. So I think that's, you know, one of the important things um, that she needs to recognize. I think the other thing is a younger gal needs to to really be willing to be open and honest that if she's going to go into a relationship and really wants to gain something from it, then hopefully it's going to be a trusting relationship where the Lord can really work in the midst of that relationship to help her in, you know, whatever season she's in. Well, and, and, you know, another aspect of mentoring is if you're a woman in, in ministry or leadership, that, if you're looking, if your goal is looking for somebody who can help you with that, as, as mm-hmm. I could have used years ago, you would look for somebody with that skill set. So you would need to set that in your mind first. You would need that goal so that you would know who you would look for. If somebody can't find somebody who can take care of all of her needs, mm-hmm. you know, perhaps she needs help with two or three areas of life, what do you suggest to that person? Well, she's probably may need to connect with two or three different women then, you know, and that, so yes, if she was, wants to learn how to cook better, but she also wants to learn how to lead a Bible study better, those may be two very different women. And so she would need to be knowing that, There could be a woman that could help her with both those skill sets, but not necessarily. So I think as we begin to um, move into our next topic, then we can talk a little bit more about how do you go about finding that woman? Because first, I think the young gal does need to clarify, okay, what is my need here? So that then the Lord can lead her to that particular woman who might be able to speak into that need and be a support and help to her. Now, I will say though, that there are some young women, they just want an older woman. I mean, I have younger women that come to me at the seminary. They don't really have an agenda. They just know that they feel like they could benefit by talking through different aspects of life with an older woman. And so then it becomes a lot um, less specific, so to speak, kind of just life on life. And oftentimes that's the case. And if that is the case, then there's probably a lot of lot of different women that could possibly be helpful to her. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think it's very valuable for young younger women to seek out older women in their lives, just in general, because I don't think you necessarily know where it's going to lead. And I've had young women in my life that have called me a mentor, and that's pretty much what our get togethers look like is just talking and being friends. I consider them really more of friends than mentees because Mm -hmm. we've just shared life and they find some um, encouragement in that. I think in, in talking to somebody older other than your own mother or somebody so closely tied to you, sometimes it's really good to have somebody else. Well, you know, I think too, when you were talking about how Years ago, this wasn't as common a term, and there weren't any books out on mentoring. There's hundreds of books out on it now, but I do think long ago, God's design was that the concept of mentoring would happen within the family dynamic, mother to daughter, grandparents, aunts, speaking into a younger girl's life, but we don't have that dynamic going on in our culture now. People live farther apart from one another, Um, A lot of young women have not come out of healthy homes. Um, I remember a woman that was one of our students at the seminary, and I was a grader for our Christian home class. And she she wrote in her paper, and she says, I really want to be a godly mother and and wife. And I have have no context for that. I did not come. I don't even know what that looks like. And so that's when a younger woman does. And I started meeting with her 
just to talk to her and sort through and all of the impact that had had in her life to not have a, a mother to speak into her life or a grandmother or, or even older significant female adults in her life. And so it has to be a little more intentional now. And I think it was more natural, you know, decades ago. Right. I totally agree with that. Well, thank you, Joy. We're going to continue our conversation as we talk about find the right fit. As you look for a mentor, finding the right fit for, for you and that mentor. So thank you for this time. And I would encourage you to watch the next video. We're going to have a series of three here and they all fit together and will really help you if you're looking for that right woman to mentor you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Joy. Thanks for listening to the Beyond Ordinary Women podcast. You can find more podcast episodes and resources for women in leadership by going to beyondordinarywomen.org. This podcast is produced by Beyond Ordinary Women Ministry. Our production team includes Evelyn Babcock, Kay Daigle, Deborah Herring, and Sharifa Stevens. Theme music, Back in Stride by Don Miller, used courtesy of Christine Miller.